You know what I didn't expect? Your mom. You didn't expect her? I always expect her. Oh, <laughs> Welcome back to our Stupid Reactions to Idiots, I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram. Whoa. And Twitter. <laughs> I'm all. Cheers! Content. It's so That was juicy. weird. We both like subliminally knew the other one was gonna stop and finished it. Aw, you love me. Yeah. We like finishing each other. Mm. Oh. going to be reacting to a dance. Oh, that was funny. A dance. A dance. Is it a day. classical dance? It, yes, it's a woo! And it's a different one that we haven't seen before. So it's not Odyssey and it's not the other one I can't pronounce. I don't it believe a so. Name. It's a person, I think, explained it to me. Hold on. He says it's called... Uh, Kuchipudi. A classical dance from Andhra Pradesh. Okay. Do we know that name? Andhra Pradesh? Uh, I but I don't know uh, Kuchipudi if I'm pronouncing it correctly. And, uh, the dance is called Kuchipudi, which of the uh, classical dance forms, I'm wondering the... I would love to see something about the evolution of classical dance in India and which forms came f first and, and formed other dance yeah. forms and, and just w didn't inform each other at all. Uh, cool. Yeah, so I'm let us, if, to this. if there's a video like that, please send it my way. Yeah, if there is a video that gives you the evolution of like, or the history of Indian classical dance and the different forms and which one came first and informed the other because I know differentiations between the two and I'm learning more and more about classical dance uh, and this one I is new to us so I'm excited and uh, I want to read the title for me real quick uh, Krishna Shabdam Kuchipudi by Sanya Raju um, and so that's what that is uh, I don't really know what those words mean but, well, my and assumption, I don't know which one's the, the dancer, and I don't know which one's the, the choreographer. Yeah, uh, well, the Kuchipudi is the style of dance, apparently, yes. right? And I guess it's Sanjay Raju would be the choreographer and dancer, possibly. But what's that? Uh, the name, Krishna Shabdan, I guess that's the, the dance, and it's going to be Krishna-centric. Gotcha, okay. Uh, just like we, we've seen the other dances that were... Um, Shiva. Kind yeah, of. exactly, yeah. She, for the gods. Okay, I think cool. this one is, is focused on Krishna. Here we go! My goodness, her hair. Is that her hair? Yeah. Down in front. Much softer on the feet than yeah, I'll say yeah. in a minute, yeah. She's using her eyes, and there's clearly a story going on. <laughs> this is one has the most dance and performance art. Yeah, a lot of acting. Yeah, I 
that. That little thing is amazing. <laughs> little bunny, bunny thing. had some beautiful end and there was applause. Rude. Alright, well, maybe this says something about it. Um, uh, here, 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 read this for me. Sanjay Raju presents her guru, Dr. V uh, Vinpati China Satyam's choreography of Krishna Shaddam, presented live at uh, Rajapalayam Tamil Nadu on 13th April 2014. Krishna Shaddam is a very typical and popular piece in the Kuchipudi repertoire. The young heroine is trying to beckon her unattainable hero. That's what, what I could like, sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come, I want to cook for you. Come to me. I'll take care of you. Lord Krishna, with her charms and various antics, she entices him with her glances, smears sandalwood paste on him, prepares sweet beetle leaves, and even strings fragrant flowers to garland him. I saw that. She put one of the flowers in her hair. Yeah, so the, she did a, a, a fantastic job of just... because. I got all that. Yeah, from hundred percent from doing it. This had uh, obviously some of the differences, particularly with the, the classical dance form most familiar to me that we have seen and I've paid attention to was Odyssey, and the footwork on this, first of all, is obviously so much softer yeah. than very Odyssey footwork, as well as even the physicality. This is more of a um, not that Odyssey doesn't have fluidity; it has lots of fluidity. Yeah. But this is a primarily fluid yeah. one. And it's also deeply, of all the classical dance forms we've seen, this is the one that has the most mime. Yeah, 100%. It's like dependent on the, the yeah, mime. and the performance, yeah. the acting behind it. Yeah, um, where in Odyssey, for example, you tell the story through the, the you actually, like if there's a, rather than being, actually taking the flowers off of the, the tree, there'd be a hand movement that communicates mm -hmm. the flower and every single spatial movement of the hands and the fingers is depicting the flower yeah and so this is more storytelling and using <laughs> and props that aren't there yeah versus the dance movements informing you. yeah it's, it's love, really interesting i do love seeing all the different types though the different yeah. types of dancing i love the difference equally as beautiful as anything we've seen mm -hmm. uh and it, i was it was captivating because i could just i could watch her just the entire yeah. time yeah doing no, I just wish it ended at the right time. I yeah, know. really. And I'm sure the same thing. I saw her doing some things particular with... Uh, I'm sure this too, like Odyssey, hand uh, gestures will convey meaning as well. It just seemed that this dance form owes a lot more of its storytelling aspects or to at least this mind. Yeah, this performance. About, I don't know this about performance. the rest of it, of course. Yeah, we don't know. Uh, uh, and we also wouldn't know the discipline well enough at all to, to say how good she is compared to other dancers of this, this dance form. But uh, it's... I've never seen this dance form. The, the dance form I've seen the most, even before this channel, mm -hmm. was the one I, I knew was more symbolic and more Odyssey-style, Odyssey where the hand gestures and postures are 
conveying the story more than you would. This is the most I've ever seen mime in uh -huh. Indian dance. Yeah, a hundred percent. And I loved it. The, the the costume was <laughs> beautiful. And of course, the two times she did little. Mm, yeah, I don't even know how she did that. It was beautiful. So fast. Mm. Yeah, she did a lot of the like the. And yeah, the little. I loved because they they had that little those little whatever they're called like the, the tiny little the little symbols symbols yeah uh, like so there's a lot but she a lot of her movements were yeah to those time little. to that and even that little nuance where she was doing the step at a certain pace and then the, the rhythm it sounded like a tablet going dig, 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 dig. Mm -hmm. and she was walking and walking and when it went dig, 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 she went dig, 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 with her feet mm -hmm. but the, the softness of the feet was really fun to watch compared to Odyssey which is so strong and planted and pounding mm -hmm. onto the ground it's just a beautiful I love every single one of these dance forms we've seen yeah it's me too so so uh, pretty if, if there's others that we need to, to, to know and yeah, bring please, them all on. Please send them because we love these. I hope you love it. Yeah, I mean, hope you love it. I, I just from from the feedback I've gotten, people people enjoy it. Yeah, and I'm glad because we enjoy we it. We love and it. We would have done it regardless of if you enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm glad that you also enjoy it. I mean, yeah. it's not a new experience for you. It's a no, new experience for us. It is a new experience for us, and I think also we've noticed comments from from stupid babies talking about how they like us and what differentiates us among other things with reaction channels is that we don't limit ourselves to just like, say, movie trailers and music videos. We really want to know as much as we possibly can about the totality of creative, artistic culture in every part of India, which you'll take the rest of your life to even begin. If you, you, we could do a whole, we could do a channel just on classical dance and classical singing. Oh, 100%. And spend all of your time on that. 100%. So it's just beautiful to have such a wealth of rich history of creative expression for uh, more millennia than any other country that's ever existed really except for you know people compete China with India but I think the diversity of the culture mm -hmm. of India there's there's no country that has a longer history of diverse artistic expression in India mm -hmm. the most artistically diverse country in the history of the world here's a question are there men that do? Is there a classical man? Good dance? question. Because we've only seen the female. Well, yeah. Well, as far as the solo, in terms of classic, one dance. yes. One, uh, I know they. I dance. know. I know. One hundred percent. One hundred percent that there are male Odyssey dancers. Yeah. One hundred percent. And that Odyssey isn't just done a solo performance. Odyssey is done as groups, groups yeah. or couples yeah. or. Yeah. So yeah, but as far as like soloing. We've only seen females do the solo dancing. I would love to see if some of the men are doing some solo dancing as well. Yeah, and, uh, uh, all different types. Just yeah. like, like when we started doing singers, we did a bunch of females, and then we finally got to a male, and he's yeah. amazing. Uh, yeah. What's his name? Kale. Uh, last name is Kale. Yeah. Um, so that's. Please let us know more because we love these types of things. Please love let it. us know and then upvote the ones that you think are good because that's how I know what is good and so I can. And guess what you yeah. guys want us to do? Yes. So thank you.